Welcome back to Dielectric Videos. On today's episode, I'm going to be unboxing a Huawei P9 smartphone, and I'm also going to be doing a review on it later on. And this video is going to be uh, consolidated between two parts, the initial unboxing, and then in approximately a week to a week and a half, I'm going to do a review video on the phone once I've gotten used to it and learned kind of uh, what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So a little backstory, I'm upgrading from an iPhone 6S. I've been an iPhone user for most of my smartphone life and career, and I thought it'd be a cool opportunity to try something new by switching to Android. The Huawei phones are purported to have very excellent uh, cameras and very excellent performance for the price. This runs roughly $380 uh, retail, and uh, it's going to be hopefully a cool device. Now I haven't opened the actual box, I've only uh, opened the Amazon box just to be sure that everything is, uh, make sure this is what I, the one that I think it is, and uh, it is indeed. So I'm going to begin the unboxing by uh, peeling back the Amazon and box and taking out the air packs. And this is what we have inside. It comes in a nice white box, it's got the Huawei symbol on the side of it. And it looks like it comes with a universal receptacle adapter for American plug use. So let's see if I can just peel this shrink wrap back. This will actually be useful in and of itself. Pretty cool. I don't anticipate using that since I'm probably going to be using my own custom power supply uh, for USB. But uh, if it's got a 9 volt fast charger in it, I may decide to use that instead so that it charges more quickly. So I'll peel this labeling off, or this bag off, rather. And there it is, Huawei P9, and it's got the Leica dual camera symbol as well. And uh, it looks like 32 gig RAM with three gigabytes, uh, or 32 gigabytes of ROM with three gigs of RAM. That's uh, what I expected. I'm gonna switch to the knife now and uh, make an incision on this plastic. Pull that off. It looks pretty fancy. I'm super excited. And the moment of truth. Raising the vacuum. Well, it's kind of holding a vacuum. There it goes. Oh, and there it is. So fancy. So I'm going to turn that over. Ooh, that already feels nice. The size and shape are really good. It's, it's bigger than I was expecting. I'm used to the iPhone 6S, and this is, I believe the iPhone 6S was a 4.7 inch screen. This is a 5.2 inch screen, so it's a fair bit bigger, but it feels quite comfortable. Before I take the plastic off, let me take a look at what uh, other peripherals are available in here. So we've got some boxes. Looks like it may come with a headphone set since it has the headphones symbol on it and let's see what this is we've got two cables in here looks like there's an adapter this might be a micro usb to usb c adapter let's open that up and yep that's exactly what this is so this allows me to connect a micro usb cable if i want to charge it that way this is a usb c phone by the way comes with a pair of earbuds. That could be useful in the future. Although I do quite like my Apple EarPods, so provided they're compatible, which they should be, I think I'll continue using them. But this will be a good backup for if I need an extra set of earbuds. And this looks like the power cord. We've got USB type A on one side and USB type C on the other side. I love the USB type C because it's reversible and it's considered to be a more robust connector than the micro B, which in my experience tends not to be as robust. So we'll definitely set that one aside. This is probably the power adapter, the uh, actual wall wart. And looks like it's got a UK British style plug attached to it. So that would be the reason for having the universal adapter. And let's uh, look, it's got a USB type A connector on this side. Let's have a look at the specs on it. Let me zoom in and uh, focus for you there. It looks like this is a 5 volt 2 amp charger. Does it have the 9 volt output? Does not appear to be so. 
So this will not do the nine volt fast charging over USB type C. However, it is still a five volt, two amp charger. So that's always a good thing to have kicking around. Let's see what the last part in the box is here. I'm making a real mess of the workstation. Uh, looks like we've got, it's got some, I'm not sure what that symbol is. It just says a few dots with some dashes next to it. Probably the manual or documentation. And yep, it's the, oh, it's got a case. Oh, that's cool. It comes with a case and it's got a quick start guide. So now that we've opened all of the peripherals and I'll set that case aside, I still, I was not planning on using a case with this phone, but I might end up doing that uh, just as a precaution since it was included by the manufacturer. So now let's have a look at the real star of the show, the device. Now it looks like they've got it nicely wrapped in protective plastic which I must carefully remove so as to not damage this thing. And I'm not actually sure how it's supposed to come out of here. It looks like it's got a bit of a peeled, peelable edge here. So that's our surrounding cover taken off. And it's got its uh, CE certification, which I don't particularly want on the back there. I'll just set that aside on, I'm guessing they provided this little paper for putting regulatory stickers, but probably not actually. Now I may still leave, I may initially leave this on in case I decide to get a screen protector. I don't want to uh, dirty up the screen before I put the protector on. And uh, let's power this thing up. I'm going to hold the power button down and there it is. It's booting up. I want to basically make sure this thing is not dead on arrival before I start the rest of this video. And hey, it made sound. So it took a little under a minute to get booted and now it's uh, prompting for language. So this is the point where I'm going to pause this video and uh, I'm going to pr just start setting it up and configuring it myself. I'm going to use this phone for roughly a week, see how I like the feel of it and the features. And in roughly a week or a week and a half, I'm going to report back and let you guys know what, uh, what I'm uh, doing with it and if I like it.